Hello everyone, my name is Samir Pratap Singh. I am a technical marketing engineer in the NetSec team at Cisco. And in this video, we will look at some of the new features in the newly released firewall migration tool, version 5.0. The first feature that we will look at is the introduction of the demo mode in the tool. Using this feature, end users can try the whole migration workflow without the need for an FMC. User can verify the configuration for any errors and also familiarize themselves with the workflow without actually migrating the configuration. Begin by logging into the tool and select Demo Mode. It will highlight the outline, process of the migration, cover step-by-step -step instructions and considerations. What this does not include is final config validation against FMC and the final push to FMC. Click on Next and proceed with uploading your ASA config, which should not be more than 1 MB in size. Start the parsing process and the tool will give you an overview of the different objects in the configuration. Click on Next and for the target, select Demo FMC and then click on Connect. Select one FTD and proceed. The tool will then list all the features in the config and provide the option to unselect some of the features based on user requirement or select additional features if needed. Click on Proceed and start conversion. Once done, the configuration will be added to the FMT database. In this step, user gets the option of downloading the pre-migration report. The user can use this report to understand if anything needs to be changed in the configuration to achieve the desired configuration on FTD. It also provides a list of unsupported configuration, configuration that is partially migrated and ignored configuration lines from the ESA. This is followed by mapping interfaces on ESA with that on the FTD. Validate and click on Next, where the tool shows the security zones and interface groups against the logical interfaces on ASA that needs to be created on FMC. User has an option to auto-create these in the tool itself. The next screen shows the different access rules that will be created, the different objects and routes that will be migrated. Changes can be made to specific objects on the tool itself and once done, upon clicking on validate, the tool will give a validation summary of the config. This will conclude the demo mode and it can be exited by clicking on exit demo. This will enable users to be better prepared for their actual migration and take care of any prerequisites that would be required for the migration. The next feature that we will look at is the ability of the tool to merge multiple routed firewall mode contexts and migrate it to FTD. The tool uses VRF functionality to replicate segregated traffic flow in multi-context ASA, which will be part of the merged config. The prerequisite is that the contexts on ASA should be in routed firewall mode. To begin, select source as ASA and start migration. Upon the upload the multiple context ASA configuration and select the new option of merged multiple context to single instance. From the list of the contexts, select the primary context and click on parse configuration. Each context will have its own VRF in the target FTD. PBR and dynamic routing will only be considered from primary context. So select the primary context and click on next. The tool gives an overview of different objects that will be migrated and also mentions that each ASA context will have its own VRF post migration to FTD. Click on Next and provide target FMC and its credentials. Once 
Once connected, select the target FTD from the list and proceed. The tool gives a list of features to be migrated with options to select or unselect by the user based on their requirements. Next, the configurations are pushed to the FMT database and the tool provides a pre-migration report for users to review the configuration that will be migrated, what is ignored, and if there are any partial migrations. Following this, map the interfaces on ASA with that on FTD. The next screen displays the ASA logical interfaces, the VRF they belong to and gives the option of auto-creating security zones and interface groups for these logical interfaces. Click on auto-create and the tool will know it has to create the security zones and interface groups. The following screen displays the ACP, objects, interfaces, routes and VPN configs if there are any and user can make changes here as per their requirements. Once done, click on the validate button and this will begin the validation process. It will display the validation summary. Click on push configuration to begin pushing the configuration to target FMC. After a while, all the configuration will be added to FMC and the tool will provide a summary of the configuration pushed and a post-migration report to validate the config that has been pushed in detail. We can verify the same by logging into the FMC. The device has the interfaces configured as that on the ASA and under the route section, we can select the VRF for each context and see the assigned interfaces and routes configured. We can verify that the VRF is created for each context in the ASA and has its respective assigned interfaces and routes. This brings us to the end of the video. Hope this video was helpful to you and thank you.